And we back. It's Vach Lombardi with another video. And I promise every time I say I wasn't going to do a video, I always end up doing a video. I absolutely was not going to do this one. I'm not really special teams guy. I, I love offense. I deal with defense. I hate special teams, right? But I feel like this was so important that I had to make a video on it, right? So I kind of made a mistake on my live stream yesterday. I called Jim Fossil John Fossil. Or I call John Fossil Jim Fossil. I call the son the daddy. And I did the research on the daddy and I said the daddy was the son. It's confusing as hell. Y'all names shouldn't be John and Jim. So I'm going to refer to our new special teams coordinator as Lil Fossil. Right? I just think that's just best for me. And my little, you know, swag or whatever. But Lil Fossil is what we're going to call him. All right? Now, now that I know which fossil that it was and I properly did my research on Lil Fossil, he's been doing Ram special teams for years. And oh boy, was I blown away with my findings. Like, you know, the report was, and that's why I always like to use the word supposedly or allegedly or da 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 boom boom boom. Um, I was like, allegedly, he's supposed to be like the best special teams coach in the league. And the Cowboys are like the worst, I guess, or whatever. But boy, Boy, does this thing make a make a huge leap in improvement or I anticipated to make a huge leap in improvement. So when when we talk about special teams, right? Like, and he's like the new he, he's the flashy version of what we would call like a Sean McVay, Kellen Moore, uh, you know, you know, the flashy offense type of dude. He's flashy special teams guy. And in a game of inches, you know, we know that you can have a great team, but if everything ain't on par, you're not gonna win a Super Bowl with that great team. This is us fixing special teams, bro. And with special teams. You use it mostly to, I mean, of course you do your punts and your PATs and whatnot, but there's another facet to it that's that's more so of can we steal possessions? Can we steal yards? Can we steal possessions, right? And I just pulled up all the John Fossil, Lil Fossil, whichever one it is. I think it's John. I'm going to say John. The John Fossil, I pulled all of his stealing possession clips, right? I just typed in his punter's name in my database and I found a gang of information on it, right? I remember watching this game versus the Rams, right? They're in punt formation and they're trying to steal possessions or steal yards from us, right? Check this out. You line up in a punt position, and this how much pressure they put on punt return teams. Like y'all got to line up in defense safe, uh, because or or punt safe because you don't know what this punt team is capable of pulling off. It's just not a mundane. We're gonna come out punt and go to the sideline. Anything can happen with these guys. For example, this here, he's gonna run to the line of scrimmage, and we're gonna get um. We're just going to get some movement here. And now we have this offensive formation here just with a simple shift. Now, this does a couple of things, right? Of course, we can get you to try to jump off sides. We can get you to be antsy. We can get you to make mistakes. I know a lot of people won't think that this is important, but Belichick beat the Cowboys this year in a monsoon tornado game because we made a few mistakes on special teams, right? So what happens here is sure we want to make you nervous. Sure we want to get you to jump off sides, but if you don't cover these people, if you don't cover all these moving pieces, then we're going to throw that fake on you, right? It's just another action, it's just another extra level of pressure. So we go from a formation shift, boom, 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 to I'm gonna run and get on the center to try to get you to jump off sides. Okay, cool. We're going to get back in formation. Okay. Touche Cowboys. And look at Sean Lee panicking up here. Sean Lee is panicking. He's saying, hold what you got. Everybody don't move. Don't jump off sides. Here's another facet, right? We're going to put a guy in motion. And look, if Jeff Heath happened to be slipping that day, if these defenders just happened to be just, hey, if we just missed a, if we missed a part of a meeting, if we just missed out on something, if we just had a lapse in, in focus, you missed this thing. And this dude is going to run a route and he's going to convert that first down now we lose an entire possession and cowboy fans know what happened because it happened last year a bunch we'll actually beat a team on third down then something stupid will happen then they'll get the ball back that's what this is for now the cowboys were very disciplined here they were very patient here and they just ended up putting the ball on the next play but that's absolutely something that you have to prepare for and i love that added pressure that little fossil is going to bring to the table Hey, everybody watch this. On on the last play, Lil Fossil had a wrinkle in the punting game. How about the punt return game? Take a look at this play. 
And this play was so interesting, right? I'm gonna kind of let it play for a little bit, just so you get the gist of it. Then I'm gonna uh, bring it back and talk about it a little bit, right? Boom, 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 boom. And in my Al Michaels voice, it's a fake. And now you got Buddy running up the sideline all by him damn self. Let's talk about this wrinkle here, fella. What I think, ladies and gentlemen, what I think happened here, you probably got this guy, you know, watching to gauge which direction of the field the ball is going to, right? And he's going to make a call. Now, whatever the call is, it could be, I don't want to say it could be left or right, but it could be like London and Rome, uh, Lenny and Rover, whatever whatever y'all's words is for, for left and right. Every, every, every team is going to have something different. But if he's looking up and if he's making the declaration that the ball is going to the right, then he has a call that's gonna make everybody run to the left. Now, what makes me say this? Because everybody's pretty neutral right now. Everybody's just kind of running down a lane, so to speak. But I'm. But once he makes a call or a declaration, everybody's gonna kind of wall this thing off to this side of the field. Now, it's interesting, right? The punt is over there. The ball carrier. Right. He has the ball right now. He's on the right side of the field. He's on the right side of the field on the 10 yard line and he's got the ball right now. But we're playing a nasty game of charades right now. We're going to we're going to come to our left side, right? The return left side of the field and the, the return man's going to fall down. That's Tavon Austin. We're just going to get all the attention, right? But us walling off in this direction makes you think we're going this direction. We're also setting up blocks for the opposite side of the field. Now, a man on the other side of the field got five blockers to two tacklers, and he's just going to walk into the end zone. Small wrinkles like that. And like I said, this play may never work again, but the idea that it exists, the notion that it's happened before, right? The notion that it's happened before, it is, it's, it's just, and look, Tavon just falling down, just, just. I'm falling and I can't get up. He he just hitting his life alert button. Meanwhile, this cat over here running by himself. By himself, all by a little trickery. All because of a little, because of a little sleight of hand there. I just think that's so dope. I think that's so dope. I would love to know what wrinkles that that's that's uh that's gonna be brought uh brought to the uh to the uh, Cowboys right. It's a we have a punt wrinkle, a punt return wrinkle. I know there's like a kickoff fake in here somewhere, right? Like I know that they're punter johnny uh hecker heckler or whatever i didn't even know he existed at first okay but then i go google his name he got highlight tapes of punt fake passes under his name he got like whole touchdowns and passes and like it's crazy let's do some more watching man <laughs> hey look how about this and, look, and listen i hate special teams right i hate talking about it but you've got to bring some kind of attention to this right look at this we're going to get a formation shift right and you know what happens with these formation shifts like he's just gonna read the leverages right he's gonna read leverages and he's gonna see do we have a mismatch somewhere is somebody not being covered properly right but also on that we got design plays to play ping pong with people this dude right here this linebacker here is gonna be played ping ponged with they're gonna they're gonna we gonna pick him twice look at this ah, boom he picked him twice just to get this cat running free man like we have actual offensive play designs for your special team squad right i would love to bring some of this to the table now this man got picked twice and these are some egregious picks like these picks are both illegal to me but the fact that we willing to try it this fourth down. What's the down and distance here? What is this? Uh, fourth and three. Fourth and three. The fact that we willing to try it. I'm. I. I, I need all of this in my life. All of this energy. All of this. Hey, y'all better be careful of what we do on special teams. Energy. Just another thing to prepare for, man. Like I know Jason faked the ball every. He he faked punts every now and then, but these cats fake the ball a lot. They fake punts a bunch and they got some actual design to faking. So give me some of that, man. How about this play? Let's talk about layers. Um, I like a good fake field goal. You know what I mean? They make me happy. I smile every time. And plus, I also like when bad things happen to the New Orleans Saints. Okay. Now, in my mind, I'm like, boy, what if this was a read option or something like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't think that's the case here because if you take a look at the ball, the ball is coming up um prior to the defender getting there i think the defender can still make a play if he got up early enough so it's not a read option so that did kind of bring me down a little because if it was like a read option play i'd be super excited but 
it looks like it though, right? He picked the ball up and this defender is going to crash down. So of course we're going to pull and run off of that. And you running so heavy to try to block this thing. You're out of position. Now we running, right? Look, we running, we running, we running. It's something I kind of noticed too. I'm like, Hey man, if Taysom Hill wasn't over there covering 89, this could have been a pass. <laughs> this could have been a pass. So are we running option plays off of, off of field goal, uh, off of fake field goals, fam, to where we can either keep the ball or throw it to this guy if Taysom Hill ain't covering him. I, I, just, I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just blown away by the, by the possibilities of what Dallas could do with a situation like this, man. First of all, Taysom Hill do every damn thing. He need to stop. But <laughs> it's just dope, man. It's dope. And something else I like too, we ain't even got to get an offensive formation. I can catch the ball from 15 yards deep and still just throw it anyway. You know what I mean? Whatever look, we have diversity in our looks. I think that's a good way to say it. And I'll just throw the ball anyway, guy. Like there's a whole highlight tape. You know, there's a whole highlight tape of just Rams faking, you know, faking special teams plays. You know, they're just catching the ball. We're putting guys in motions. We're formation shifting. And that's an element that we never had on special teams, or at least the Cowboys are special teams. Keith O'Quinn has absolutely let Nas down in the way that we, we, we didn't do nothing. We didn't do nothing. We did all these all these good things on 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 offense and, and, and you know, probably put defense in some binds because we couldn't do a couple things in the kicking game or whatever. So I don't know, man. I think change is on the way and it is exciting. I ain't wanna hold y'all too long, man. I know every time I keep saying I'm not gonna do a video on this new coach, I end up doing a video on this new coach, but uh, I couldn't pass this one up. So I think we've done a video on all the coordinators slash play calling people. So hey, go watch those other videos if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I and the Patreon is the same, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I, Bosch Lombardi. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Till next time, y'all hold it down for the Doski Walsk and the Peaceki Weeski. Be sure to tune into my draft shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Peace, y'all. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen features, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. But you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it and come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.